Hey y'all, I'm getting ready to go out and set up some trail cameras today and I've got together my trail camera kit of gear and equipment that I always carry with me whenever I'm setting up trail cameras to make sure I have everything I need. I wanna go over everything I carry in my trail camera bag so that you can make sure when you're going out to set up your trail cameras that you've got everything you need as well. So run down this list with me, make sure you've got everything. Start with, I got my thermocell over here and it's going so that I can shoot this video this morning. You wanna have a thermocell or some kind of insect repellent with you on site when you're setting up cameras. You don't need mosquitoes bothering you and driving you crazy when you're trying to concentrate on the details of getting the camera set up just right. So make sure you've got some kind of insect re repellent. Over here, I've got my disposable latex gloves. I do like to try to be as scent free as possible when I'm out setting up my cameras, just like I'm going deer hunting. And so that includes disposable latex gloves and I also wear rubber boots, all the other scent control techniques that you would use if you were going deer hunting. Uh, the gloves help keep your scent off your cameras and out of the area where you're working. And then, uh, so those are cheap and easy to keep in your kit. Next thing here, I've got um, a really nice uh, saw and a pair of clippers. Uh, these are very important when you're setting up your cameras you wanna make sure there are no obstructions between the camera lens and the target area where the deer are going to be. No sticks, stems, grass, vines, limbs hanging down. And also you may need to clear things around the tree where you're gonna mount the camera. So these are required equipment. Have some kind of pocket saw, hand saw, and hand clippers with you in your kit. Next thing I've got here is my SD card holder which as you can see holds all of my cards and flashcards. I keep these empty, ready to go. And I've got a Sharpie here in the kit with it to help me mark the cards as needed. Also notice I've got a silica gel pack in here. You know, these are the little packs of silica gel you get in shipping packages and, and other places. And I save those and use them for things like this, help keep your flashcards dry. Remember, don't eat it. Here are my camera straps and an extra bungee strap. Make sure you've got all the straps that you need. The camera straps that come with the camera, extra straps, maybe some rope uh, and bungees always come in handy to make sure you can mount the camera like you want it on the tree then, or on the location that you want it. Uh, never leave without these. Here I've got my cable lock, uh, Python cable lock. These are inexpensive relative to the cost of a camera. So I'd like to have one for every camera. Whether you're hunting on private land or public land, you know, if you've got some concern that your cameras might be stolen, lock them up, uh, keep them secure. And that way you don't have to worry about it. Some cameras, uh, you can padlock the camera housing itself. So bring padlocks if you need those to lock it up and make sure someone can't come along and steal the card out of it. Um, and then importantly, Keep your keys to those locks, to those Python cable locks, to the padlocks, keep them all on one keychain, and make sure that is part of your trail camera kit so that you can't lose these or leave them at the house. You don't wanna get way out in the woods, checking a camera or moving a camera and you forgot your keys. You can't unlock it from the tree yourself. So keep up with the keys. Batteries, of course, should be a part of your trail camera kit. Uh, plenty of fresh batteries. Use the type that the manufacturer recommends in the uh, user's manual of your camera, whether that's lithium or just regular alkaline batteries, whatever's recommended, have plenty of those on supply. Um, I like to freshen batteries on a regular basis. You don't want to end up far away from being able to up update your cameras and one of your cameras is dead in the woods uh, because of low batteries. So liberally apply new batteries as needed whenever you're checking or, or placing your cameras. This is a uh, lens cleaning cloth. You probably have some of these at your house for cleaning your sunglasses or cleaning your computer screen or whatever, but these come in handy for cleaning the lens ports of the camera, which sometimes become clouded by moisture, dirt, dust, cobwebs, and other things. Um, this is a similar tool made by Nikon. This has a specialized lens cleaning tip that is meant for uh, high quality glass lenses, but you can also use it on your trail cameras. And it also has this little extendable brush that pops out here and comes in very handy for cleaning the ports of your cameras. And even uh, when you open up your camera, sometimes you will find cobwebs, dirt, dust, ants, other insects inside. 
that little brush can come in handy for cleaning those out as well. So I keep one of these in my kit too. Next, and this is one I really love. This is an SD card to uh, my iPhone adapter. It's um, SD to Lightning. Now this is made for an iPhone by Apple, but you can get these for other types of phones. It's simply an adapter that allows you to read and see the images on a flash card in the woods, in the field. You plug this into your phone, you can see the pictures on your camera, you can delete those off the card, clear the card, transfer them to your phone or whatever. So uh, very inexpensive, extremely useful to have in your kit. A bubble level. You might think I'm a little bit crazy, but I guess I am. I'm, I really am a fan of high quality pictures and getting the setup just right. So I carry a bubble level in my kit to put on the camera housing to make sure I've got the camera level uh, left to right, but also up and down and make sure the camera is aiming at exactly the target point I want it aiming on. Uh, you can get an app for your phone that's a bubble level and that way you don't have to keep up with one of these, but I like to keep this in my kit. These small things I keep in this, uh, it's a conference badge holder that I recycle and use. It has a lanyard on it so you can wear this around your neck, but I can put my flashcard reader, my bubble level spare cards in this uh, plastic sleeve and carry it with me around my neck too. That comes in very handy. And again, more silica gel to keep those things dry in that pack. Remember, do not eat it. This is a stick and pick mounting uh, apparatus. It straps to the tree and then the camera mounts to this part and you can hang a, a camera on any tree, pivot, angle, hang it up high and angle down or whatever you need to do. Uh, it's good to have some kind of a mounting device like this in your kit at all times because you're not always going to find the perfect tree everywhere you want to set up a camera. Uh, those come in very handy. We actually have on the Deer Association website uh, a blog that tells you how to make your own homemade camera mount adapter for trees like that. So check that out. And then also made by Stick and Pick is this uh, camera stand. As you can see, this has feet on it that will stick into the dirt. So where you want to mount a camera, if there's not a, the perfect tree there, there, here's your perfect tree right here. The stand like this mounts in the ground. You mount your camera on the top. And then this is extendable to various heights and lengths. Again, comes in very handy, allows you to set up a camera at any location that you find a place you want to put up one. Another thing I make sure I've got is the user's manual for all the cameras that I'm going to be putting out that day. Uh, you can download the user's manual online, but you may be out in the field, you may not be able to get online. So I make sure in the bottom of my bag I've got these user's manuals in case I need to remind myself how to operate these cameras. Most of them are very easy, of course, but sometimes you need a refresher. Sometimes you may need to troubleshoot the camera in the field. I've got some owls joining me on my video. So always be sure to carry your user's manual with you in your kit. Finally, carry your smartphone with you when you're setting up your camera. I know you probably will, but just be sure to have it with you. It's a very important tool. For example, you could get a bubble level app on your phone, and that way you don't have to carry a bubble level for leveling your camera. Another thing is you can use the compass app on your phone for determining orientation when you're setting up your camera. You want to make sure your camera is facing roughly to the north. Just be sure to avoid pointing it east or west directly into the rising or setting sun. That kind of direct light can create photo quality issues. A third thing is your Onyx Hunt app. Use that to mark the location of your camera. If you're out there far in a remote woods or you're setting up multiple cameras, you don't want to forget where you put your cameras. So mark every single one of them on your Onyx Hunt app. Mark the location. You'll always be able to go back to those cameras. Finally, if you're using wireless cameras like I do, you can use the app on your phone, trigger some photos while you're on site with the camera, and check those photos through the app. Download them to the phone and look and see while you're still there if the camera is set up like you want it. Is it pointing at the target zone like you want it? Is it angled too high? Is it angled too low? And while you're still on site, you can make those corrections looking at the photo that you just triggered. So be sure to carry your smartphone. All those tools will come in handy. We're going to have more videos in our trail camera series coming up soon. We're going to tell you some tips on locations that are good for setting up cameras. We'll have more tips on setting up the camera on site to make sure you get high quality photos. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and not miss any more Deer Association videos. Thank you very much.